the topic that we're going to start now is nose the first part of the nose that we're going to start is the septum of nose the septum of nose has two parts cartilaginous and a bony part now what makes the septum we're not talking about the embryology we're talking about what bones are making up the septum so the bony part firstly it has the perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone then it has vomer and third it has the nasal process of maxilla then the cartilaginous part has septal cartilage and then the nasal process of inferior nasal cartilage now the blood supply of the septum let's make a drawing the septum right here It's just for the understanding purpose. So this is the anterior, anterior superior part. The anterior superior part is supplied by anterior ethmoidal artery. This is a branch of ophthalmic artery. The anterior inferior part, uh, this part, the anterior inferior part is supplied by the septal branch of superior labial artery, which is a branch of facial artery. Now this right here is a plexus. It is called the Kieselbach's plexus or the Little's area or the Little's plexus. Kiesel bags, plexus, it's also called the little's area. Now the posterior inferior, posterior inferior part is supplied by sphenopalatine artery. This artery is a branch of maxillary artery. Now let's talk about the uh, what the kiesel wax area is that this place the kiesel wax area the kiesel wax area or the kiesel wax plexus this is also called the littles area and this is the site of epic epic epistaxis this area it is the common site of nose bleeding or epistaxis anyways let's move on to the venous drainage of the septum so the anterior part is drained into the facial nerve and the posterior part drains into sphenopalatine vein the facial vein the anterior part is drained into the facial vein and the posterior part is drained into the sphenopalatine vein which later drains into the terico, uh, terichoid, terichoid venous plexus. Now the nerve supply. So the anterior superior part is supplied by the internal nasal branch of anterior ethmoidal nerve and the posterior inferior part by the nasopalatine nerve which is a branch of a pterygopalatine ganglion the lymphatic drainage now anterior half is uh, drains into uh, some bandular lymph nodes and the posterior half into the deep cervical
lymph nodes. Now let's continue with the lateral wall of the nose. So the bones that make up the lateral wall, they are six in number and pretty easy to learn, to remember. First is the inferior nasal concha. Then we have the superior nasal concha and the middle nasal concha. These two are parts of ethmoid bone. Then we have the perpendicular plate of palatine bone. Then we have the lacrimal bone and the frontal process of maxilla. Now comes the blood supply. Let's make this simple diagram first. This is the anterior side. This is the posterior. So according to this diagram, I'm actually making this part, the anterior superior. This is the posterior superior. This is the anterior inferior. And this box is the posterior inferior. So the anterior superior part is supplied by the anterior ethmoidal artery. The posterior superior part is supplied by the sphenopalatine artery. The anterior inferior part is supplied by the superior labial branch of facial artery. And the posterior inferior part is supplied by the greater palatine artery. Now the venous drainage. So the veins in the lateral wall of the nose, of the lateral wall of the nose, will form a plexus, and this plexus can drain anteriorly and posteriorly. So veins from anterior half will drain into the facial vein whereas the veins from posterior half will drain into the pterygoid venous plexus. Now let's talk about the nerve supply. So the anterior superior part of the lateral wall of the nose is supplied by the anterior ethmoidal nerve and the posterior superior part is supplied by the lateral nasal branch which is a branch of pterygopalatine ganglion. The posterior inferior part is supplied by greater palatine nerve which is a branch of pterygopalatine ganglion and the anterior inferior part is supplied by anterior superior alveolar nerve which is a branch of maxillary nerve. Now the paranasal sinuses, they are four in number and uh, the frontal sinus will drain into the middle meatus. So now the op openings in the lateral wall of the nose. 
So the openings in the superior nasal meatus, posterior ethmoidal cells, and the sphenoidal sinus into sphenoid ethmoidal recess. Now the second is the openings in the middle nasal meatus or the frontal sinus, anterior ethmoidal cells into the semi-lunar hiatus, maxillary sinus opening that is also into the semi-lunar hiatus and then is the middle ethmoidal cells into the semi-lunar hiatus. Anyways, so the third is the openings into the inferior nasal meatus and that is just the nasal lacrimal duct. Now about the Kieselbach's plexus that we did before in the we did this in the sublight supply of the septum we're going to do this again because it's very important so it's a common side for bleeding and epistaxis and it is the uh, anti at the end at the anterior inferior part, I'll actually just tell you what are the at the at the anterior inferior anterior antero inferior part of the vestibule of the septum. There uh, forms the anastomosis between the septal ramus of these four uh, veins, the th these four arteries that I'm going to name, and these four are the ones which form the nucleus of Bach's plexus superior labial branch of facial artery then the branch of sphenopalatine artery the greater palatine artery and the branch of ethmoidal artery 